We're here with uh, head men's tennis coach Kenny Thorne on a Thursday afternoon before big ACC match tomorrow against Louisville, number 26, or no, 23rd ranked Louisville, here at the Ken Byers Tennis Complex. Kenny, um, the ACC just doesn't ever get any easier, does it? Um, no, this, yeah. is, this is one of the easy ones. Yeah. Yeah, they're, only, they're only ranked 23, mm -hmm. so uh, it's very similar to basketball. It's just one of those uh, conferences that's gotten better and better in tennis, so uh, you better man up. And uh, if you don't, it's, it's going to be a tough day, but uh, everybody, there's a lot of, a lot of depth as well, so uh, there, there's uh, opportunities out there that you can go out and, and get a good win, and, and we're right there poised to do it. Now, obviously, first time you played Louisville yeah, uh, yeah. as a conference member. In fact, I think I looked it up. The last meeting was 04, I want to say. Okay. Um, no better than me. Um, how, you know, being a newbie, how much do you know about them? Uh, how much familiarity is there with them and their players? Yeah, actually not quite as much as, as obviously the other ACC schools. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we hadn't... Uh, we know some of the players from recruiting um, and, and you know some of the, the players before but not as much from playing since they've been in college so mm -hmm. it, it's uh, it is a little bit of a new thing but uh, they, they've got you know a couple of foreign guys but a couple of a, a good American guys that are very good that uh, um, we'll, we'll just have to kind of uh, you know scout as we go as, as well. Mm -hmm. You've um, you've had some success in your conference matches thus far with the road wins and whatnot, uh, but you've also had a couple of disappointing losses to Florida State and Notre Dame, which are very good teams, obviously. Right. Um, right. What you know? What's your assessment up to this point? You know about where you are, and I, I know you're still seems like you're still working on your lineup a little bit. Yeah, I I feel like uh, you know it's it'd be good to get Nathan back healthy. Uh, he's he's played doubles for us this last match and uh, I think that helped a lot gave, gave him some confidence to get in there but also gave the team that's that's the doubles teams that we had at the beginning of the season when we were playing probably our better doubles and uh, they did a they did a good job this past week of him and Cole playing a good doubles match um, singles wise we uh, We've moved the lineup around quite a bit. We've had different guys we needed to play lower uh, earlier in the season, get some confidence, get some wins. and uh, We've moved uh, different guys back up in the top of the lineup. We feel like we've got some good depth. Um, we just need some uh, guys to step up at the uh, middle of the top of our lineup, and uh, we'll be good. Mm -hmm. now, yeah, uh, talk about the bottom part. I know we talked about this yesterday. You're five and six. It's almost like you could count on getting a couple of points there with the guys that you've been playing. Yeah, we, we've got a lot of guys uh, that we could put there. I think we're very, uh, you know, we've got good depth all the way through. Um, but I, I feel uh, five and six, you know, we could really put a lot of guys there. They're going to be very competitive and have a great chance to win. Um, the key is getting guys to step up at, uh, you know, one, two, three, mm -hmm. and uh, get a win or two out of that, and uh, that, that's where it's, that's that's going to make the difference. How do you feel like Chris has played at number one? I know he, I was talking to him earlier today, and he just feels like one of the differences with him is he might have felt a little bit more pressure playing up there, whereas earlier in the season when he beat the two guys from Georgia. He just went out there and played and had fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to hunt. I mean, you're either being hunted or you're going to hunt. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he's done a great job for a freshman to come in and be able to compete at that level and have the wins that he's had. But he's got a, anybody gets there and they get a couple of wins and then you get different styles of play that you come up against and everybody up there is tough. And uh, it, it, he, he's, he's got to learn how to be different styles of players and be patient with it and understand that his game is big enough to, to, to beat anybody. But at the same time, if you, uh, if you stop hunting people down, mm -hmm. then you're going you're gonna to get in a little bit of trouble. But I think he's done a good job of coming after and, and making you know, adjustments and improving. And uh, I think he'll continue to do that throughout the season. He's got a tough one tomorrow. And uh, I, think it's, uh, I think he's looking forward to it. He, he scouts out players. He knows what they do well. And, uh, you just, I mean, you, you, you don't just have a good game plan going in. You got to play well to win there.
um, you've, you've kind of moved Cole around a little bit. He started mm -hmm. out early at the bottom of the lineup, and he's kind of steadily moved up. How much has his game improved uh, over last year? I think uh, he's he's always been solid. His, his uh, ground game has been very solid. He's he's now uh, comfortable coming in and finishing at the net. He's uh, got his. Uh, serves improved. Um, I'd like that a little more consistent. Once he gets that really consistent, he could play at the top of the lineup and do really well. And then um, across the court from him today, Carlos, he's a guy that's probably, uh, we've talked about him before, you know, having some pressure on him last year and having to get thrown in the fire a little bit, right. but he's really responded to, you know, just about any place you put him in a lineup this year. Yeah, he's done a good job. He's uh, we we had the luxury of being able to play him lower and getting some wins early on, and uh, lately we've uh, moved him back up in the lineup, and uh, it's uh, it's not easy high in the lineup. So he's uh, he, he's done a good job adapting. He's going to have to continue to get tougher because uh, there's there's just not a not an easy match in the position he's in right now. So. Uh, he's got the game to be able to do it. He's definitely, he hits one of the bigger forehands, got a heavy serve, got a strong, strong player. So he has the game to be able to do it. And he's just got to maintain some, some good mental toughness up there and he'll do fine. What do you think's the biggest um, key to accomplishing a win tomorrow against these guys? Uh, you know, I, honestly, I feel like we've just, we've, we've got to believe and, and get mentally tougher. And uh, I feel like uh, we've been close in a lot of matches this year, and uh, the guys know it. But uh, you, you, we don't have to do that much more. And, and mm -hmm. you've got to come out and do some of the fundamentals really well. But just being mentally tough and competing uh, uh, freely is, is going to be going to be key for us. When we do that, we got good athletes, and uh, they go after and they, they do some great things. So it should be a great match. Well, good luck tomorrow. Thank you.